Good evening. Um, thank you to the city of Carson for hosting us. And what a nice uh, facility you have here. Um, thanks to the sheriffs for keeping us all safe, and thanks for the uh, committee for keeping the sheriffs in check. And we're here to keep you in check. I'd like to thank my new friends, Averas, for sharing their story about becoming a legal immigrant to our beloved United States. And thank you for coming here. We're glad you're here. But to that, immigration is what makes our country great. But this illegal immigration is a severe problem. I mean, already they've uh, shown disrespect by coming in here illegally, and then these people end up in jail and we're supposed to pander and cater to them. I don't get it. SB 54, of course, I'm completely against it because it puts our state in willful disobedience to the federal government. I, I can't for the life of me understand why anybody would side with this. But it, even worse, now your sheriff said, has deemed these close to 50 items added to the list of things to which you cannot be deported if you're a criminal illegal alien. And it's almost laughable if you read through them. You know, on the back of the back of this list is a bunch of uh, possession of different kinds of weapons, mm -hmm. the number of which I don't even know what they are. But I do know um, Brass Knuckles is on this list. Last Saturday, I, we actually witnessed a man with Brass Knuckles get arrested by the uh, city of Newport Beach Police Department, and they took it real seriously. And I followed up, and that guy still can't raise bail, so the bail was deemed serious enough that he can't raise it. But now our sheriff in L.A. County and your board thinks, ah, brass knuckles, no, no big deal, right? Well, there's a bunch of other crimes that are not deemed to be uh, worthy of de ejecting from our country. And a lot of them are escapes or attempts to escape from state prison. Wow, gee. These other are walkaways from state facilities, work farms or whatnot. But this one, escape from a state hospital or other mental health facility. Really, I guess that's not a big deal, right? Just let them back in the community to victimize them some more. Hazing that results in death or great bodily injury. No big deal, that's murder. If you haze someone and they die, that's murder, right? But no, we don't want to kick them out. We wouldn't want to offend them. We want to pander them for some reason. I don't get it. I wish one of you would stand up and tell me why. Here we go on the front page. And this is the one that really galls me. Threatening a juror. You know, that undermines the basic tenets of our society. If a juror is afraid to go to the court and testify in an honest manner because someone is intimidated, what good is any of this? We might as well just have chaos. Just give everybody a sword and just fire your department and don't even enforce any laws. Here we go. Throwing objects at a train. Well, if you throw an object at a, a train, the train's going 60 miles an hour, the rock's going a certain speed, they connect. That's murder, right? But no, we wouldn't want to kick that person out of the United States when he became came here illegally because that would be mean. Okay? Here's my favorite one. Assault upon the president or vice president or others in government. I myself was not a fan of the previous occupant of the White House. I think his president, his, his vice president, was laughable. And when I see him on TV now, I, I mean, everyone's falling asleep, I'm laughing. I don't want to see them assaulted. I might want to hold a sign, maybe get my bowl around, but I don't want them assaulted. But it's almost like this sheriff purposely put this one on to show where he stands in, in denouncing our president of our United States. He had to find a big boy way to do it instead of this ridiculous item. Now to that, um, I would like to end on a nice note also. Mr. Shopper, would you show up, stand up and show us your shirt again? I would like you to toll that bell when I go sit down. For this fine American who laid down his life, who sacrificed his life for others, this man was murdered by a previously deported illegal alien. Scum of the earth. This fine man sacrificed his late life to save people he did not know. I wish you would told that bell for him, ma'am. I know. Thank you. No, thank you. Thank you. May I say? 
James Nelson, followed by Reggie Bush, really followed by Michelle Infante. Uh, I'm sorry. Please. DeAndre Mitchell. Say his name! DeAndre Mitchell. DeAndre Mitchell. DeAndre Mitchell. How y'all doing? I'm Jesse.